Hi guys and welcome back to Bike Matters HQ. Today we've got some Kimco's in. We've got the VSR or the Visa 125 as I like to call it and the Like 125. Yep and the VSR is the only motorcycle available from Kimco UK currently and the Like one of many scooters. I mean they do loads of scooters and this is one of many as I say. And it's a pretty little one at that to be fair. Very pretty one, very pretty one yeah. So let's have a little, uh, little chat about them, see how we got on with them. So we've both spent some time on these bikes now. I mean, Brett, what do you think of the VSR or the, the Visa? It's a traditional 125 all over, isn't it? Yeah. It's, 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 as 125 commuters go, it's pretty stylish. Like how the bodywork is, the colour's magnificent, but it's just nice, light, yeah. slim, yeah. big wheels. It's just a traditional 125 commuter, so it does all those things yeah. that a youngster or a commuter is going to want from this bike. And it does look quite aggressive. I mean, for a 125, obviously, there is a similar sort of styling across different 125 ranges, but this one really does look aggressive, like sharp angles and... Definitely. I, I mean, like... just look at the tank. The LED light on the rear as well looks awesome. So yeah, really does. all in all, little red uh, brake calipers as well. Oh yeah, they do well. stand these, up. These little things just help it stand out more than than the rest, I think. Yeah, no, absolutely, absolutely. What's it like on the road? I mean, what do you think? Nimble. It? it is really nimble. It's so light as well. That's the thing. And it's, it's perfect for a youngster just learning the ways yeah. with it. It's, you can just throw it into corners kind yeah, of thing. No, you just know, and filter in with, with ease. Um, but yeah, it's just, it's just a lovely community. It really yeah, is. no, definitely is. And the, onto the like, this stylish little number. Well, yeah, I mean, it looks brilliant. Of course, you can see Tommy Bridal's number at the front and on the sides here. So it is one of his paddock scooters that Kimco have provided to him for the, is it the BSB season? Is it, it is season? indeed. So yeah, really good with that. And of course, for me, the like itself around town, nimble as anything. I mean, you get on really well with it. It's got power at the low end for days. So no problems there at all. Nice and nimble, as I say. The only problem for me is, of course, I'm six foot four. So if I'm sitting on it, I really have to sit sort of towards pillion to actually get anything out of it which does mean that, you know, when I'm looking at dual carriageway speeds, it does get a bit hairy and I do feel a bit vulnerable. So for me, the VSR is what I'd be looking at. But of course, for a lot of people who are looking at scooters, the VSR, maybe not. Uh, of course, it's not a scooter, so might be looking at the like. And yeah, definitely, it's a stylish little scooter. And it's one that for normal sized people and shorter people like myself, it's not a problem at all. It's nice and nimble around town. Yeah. Dual carriage rates, you're getting around the 60 mark. Yeah, I did get it to about 65, which was uh, quite an experience, shall I say, but. Not bad considering the height on top too. Yeah, <laughs> no, exactly. I mean, any gust of wind, I'm really feeling it. And it is worth knowing just briefly that the like is actually more powerful than the VSR, which I find quite surprising. So. Indeed, but it's really hard to tell the difference on the road because yeah. they kind of stick together when we yeah. take I them I think out. the lightweight of the VSR really does sort of bring it back up, so they're pretty much on par with each other in terms of power. But either way, let's have a look on the road. Definitely. Hello, it's Alex from Bike Matters. I'm on the Kimco VSR 125 CBS, or the Visa, which I prefer to call it because it sounds nicer. The Visa 125. Um, this is the perfect introduction to a sports naked or a naked bike from Kimco. I mean, all in all, a, a quick review of it, it's a nice bike. It's a, a bike from Kimco, of course, Kimco being a very reliable brand. Hello, puppers. Um, sorry, distracted there, terrible. <laughs> um, Kimco being quite a reliable brand. I mean, they've been building bikes and parts for bikes for many years now. You might know, they might not know, but they've been building parts for Kawasaki, BMW. So if there's anything to not question, it's going to be the reliability of their parts because they've been doing that for the sort of high-end manufacturers and high-end brands for quite a while. Of course, the VSR is their only motorcycle on the lineup as it stands. Of course, that may well change in the future, who knows? Now, this one's priced at £1,999. And for that, I mean, you get a nice, reliable commuter, as I say. I can't really comment on the reliability too much, of course, because this one's only done 44 kilometers. So it's barely run in. It was literally delivered with two miles on the clock, I think. And of course, brand new tires. So, you know, trying to actually bed the tires in, trying to get comfortable on the bike and trying to make sure that it's uh, being run in correctly has been quite a challenge. So here I am on the Kimco Like 125. It's a little white stylish scooter you can get from Kimco for £2,199. So what does that get you for your money? 
you get a very stylish scooter. The one I've got today is the one in white with the nice little red seat, and it is a very pretty little scooter. A nice little thing you can have around town or the city. It will look awesome outside a cafe when you're parked up getting a drink or something along those lines. Now, when it comes to spec on this, we have got a few nice little touches. Now, the, the new version of this will be coming out soon. We will have the new Nudo system from Kimco. So, nice little smartphone compatible dash that you can connect via Bluetooth. And you'll be able to have things like GPS from your phone and also customizable clocks and photos. Now this bike racks out at just over 11 horsepower. So it's ideal little scooter, really enough poke for around the towns and cities and a little bit more if you need it. Out and about on slightly faster roads. Although it truly is cities and towns where this thing is aimed at. Now in terms of the engine power, this hasn't got buckets of power, unfortunately. It's, it's a bike that's a reliable commuter. If you're looking at taking this on any fast roads, you're sadly mistaken because this isn't going to be breaking any uh, speed limits, that's for sure. Um, it sits at 30 happily. And when you're sitting at 30 or 30, 40 area, you're sitting at about 6,000 RPM, which luckily at 6,000 RPM is the peak torque. I think 10.3 newton meters of torque at 6,000 RPM. So that means that when you need, want the power, you've got it there ready to <laughs> go. Whoa! Yeah. Um, the <laughs> if you're taking this on 60 miles an hour or 60 mile per hour roads, single carriageways, stuff like that, you'll be fine because this it can sit at 60 albeit at uh, 8,000 RPM limit, which is the red line. Now, funnily enough, that 8K RPM line is where you get the peak brake horsepower, which is 10.6 roughly, or 7.7 .7 kilowatts. So yeah, it's, it's not gonna be breaking any land speed records, of course, but if you're looking to commute to work and do it reliably and comfortably, this one's definitely gonna be up on the list. Now. Another thing to mention is that the price point, £1,999, does position it nicely against its Japanese competitors. Now, of course, everyone's going to always naturally look at the Japanese bikes and the Japanese market for their commuters because they're reliable and they're well known to be reliable. Unfortunately, they are priced accordingly. So if you're buying one brand new, you could be looking at about 2900 quid, which isn't, isn't exactly cheap. So yeah, I mean, what, this at £1,999, not bad, not bad at all. Now, this scooter comes with LED lights front and rear, and they look awesome. Something you need to know about Kimco is whenever you look at their bikes with LED light technology, generally the lights look spot on. They look really good. Now, it's got uh, under-seat storage on this, as you expect with a scooter, but it is quite a limited space. I mean, I tried earlier with my motorcycle helmet, it couldn't really fit clothes down, so that's something to bear in mind, but it is still plenty of storage options. Always better than a motorcycle. Um, you can always put a box in the back or whatever if your heart desires, but yeah, so a little bit small, but still enough if you pop to the shops, you get some shopping in there, you get your milk and bread under there, no problem at all. Now it is quite a small scooter, so Alex, who's riding the VSR125, did go to ride out on this bike, however, He's quite a tall gentleman, six foot four, six foot five, somewhere around there. And uh, he did struggle on this beast. His knees were right next to the handlebars. Um, so it is bear, worth bearing that in mind if you are a taller person interested in the like. Go down, have a test ride. See how you get on with it. Now, as I say, it's just over 11 brake horsepower on this little sprightly scooter. So it's not groundbreaking by any means, but what it is is nice and steady. Nice smooth acceleration. It actually has more brake horsepower, well, it's ever so slightly more than the VSR which leads me at the moment. We have telescopic front suspension as well, with the swing suspension on the back. So overall it's, it's, it's a typical small scooter ride. 
it is rather nice and comfortable but it's quite a small bike so obviously within a little but buzzing around the country lanes at the moment so you do feel some bumps but it is typical British roads at the moment so there's a few lumps and bumps along the way a few things to note I mean of course the styling of the bikes very aggressive naked looking bike of course the headlight the sort of sharp angles on it I really like it to be fair and the paintwork just adds to that that nice sort of matte blue finish really is nice not bad um in terms of the brakes as i say now the front you get a really sort of striking red disc brake at the front it looks brilliant i mean to be fair it looks apart it's not exactly like a a huge selling point of red disc brake but it, it looks nice it does look nice Just Make me like one of your French girls. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Steady. That's too much energy. The clutch is nice and light and it's really short. So if you see here, that's it. That's all there is to it. So you can engage and disengage gears quite easily. Of course, a massive thank you to Lexham, of course, powering the channel. Lexan being 125cc, 50cc, learner specialist really. If you are looking for insurance on any motorcycle, give Lexan a call and see what they can do for you. So yeah, in terms of comfort with this bike, I fit really nicely on it. Now it's it weighs about 122 kilograms, and with a seat height of 780 mil, I fit nicely here. Um, it doesn't weigh anything, as I say. And with that peak torque at 6,000 revs, if you're throwing it into corners, it's really flickable. There's no weight behind it at all. And um, that just means that you can really just get comfortable on the bike and just throw it around the bends if you fancy going down any uh, single carriageway back roads. That's really where it's quite fun. Now on the front and rear we have disc brakes, so more than adequate enough stopping power. You don't feel like, oh, getting closest. No, you've got loads of confidence in those brakes. Does a spot on job. So all in all, it's a nice little option there and it's just perfect for around the towns and cities. And it's the kind of thing you park up, park up at a cafe or whatever, leave it outside. People are going to admire it because it is a pretty retro style scooter, as I say. It's a full of nice modern little bits. The dash goes perfectly with it. It's nice and simple and clear. You're not going to get confused with it. Now, the fuel tank is in line with, uh, with it being a town and city bike. It's only, I think it's six and a half litres or thereabouts. So it's not the biggest fuel tank in the world. But it's enough for a good few days in a city potting around because you know you're going to get really good economy on this. Now, Alex is also riding the VSR 125. S slightly less horsepower, but a nice commuting option. Again, if you're looking for something geared, looking for a motorbike as opposed to a little style of scooter, then the VSR is a really great option. It's stick to that tried and true method of uh, 125 commuters. Quite narrow, quite slim big 18 inch wheels I think are on there but again another excellent commuter so Kimco are really putting a lot of choice out there for those interested on the 125 market whether you want something nice and pretty and elegant like this or if you want a true 125 commuter the VSR's there as well so they're doing a cracking job and I really like how much Kimco are pushing technology at the moment they're doing a lot for electric bikes and the Nudo system as well, the digital dash. They are really having quite an adventurous time, I'd say. They're taking it to a lot of bigger manufacturers with their development. So good on you, Kimco. Can't wait to see what's next. So that was really good last week, Bear. Quite a bit of fun. It was nice buzzing around these two little bikes yeah. and both having a go on them. 
But yeah, if you're interested in the 125cc motorcycle, then the VSR is a really great option. Perfect little commuter, nice and lightweight, fine in the town, but also quite respectable on dual cashways too. £1,999 starting price is, is, is so competitively priced. Yeah, it really is. I mean, same for the like, really. I mean, this is going to be one, you know, if you're looking to commute to work and just want something to get there nice and elegantly and look beautiful while you're doing it, can't look past the like 125. This one starts at £2,199, £2,199. And for that, you get a really good scooter. So can't go wrong with that. Exactly. Two really competitively priced bikes. Yeah, really both are. really stylish too. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If so, give us a little like. Uh, make sure to uh, subscribe as well and hit that notification bell as well for our future content. And watch down there, leave us a comment as well. I mean, which of these two bikes would you rather have? Which one would you want in your garage? But yeah, cheers very much for watching. See you in the next one.